Today, we will make one of my favorite winter desserts, a holiday-themed coffee mousse using these ingredients. In a medium-sized bowl, combine instant coffee, granulated white sugar, and some cold water. Use a large whisk to mix these ingredients thoroughly until the coffee and sugar are fully dissolved. Imagine you're just making an incredibly sweet, thick, iced coffee at this stage. Once combined, I'm going to switch to my electric hand mixer to get it even more blended until the runny liquid starts to thicken and it is a beautiful, smooth, even caramel color. Set the mixer and this foamy goodness aside for now and grab another bowl. Here, we're going to pour in our heavy cream. Then, we'll use the electric mixer again to whip this thoroughly on a high speed. This will start to froth up and eventually create whipped cream, the key texture to this dish. Trust the process and be patient. Next, we'll add in our condensed milk to add some thickness and depth to the dish. Whip it together with the cream until it is an even fluffy consistency and thick enough that it holds its shape in peaks. Now we're going to bring back our coffee mixture and use a flexible spatula to scrape every tasty bit of it from the first bowl into the second. Because we mixed both of these ingredient groups separately first until they were each fluffy and light, they should combine nicely just with gentle folds using the spatula. Be careful not to overmix at this stage so that you don't deflate your mousse. Now, put the entire bowl into the refrigerator to chill while we prepare our garnishes. Prepare two plates, the first one with a generous pool of simple sugar syrup. And the second with a hearty pile of granulated white sugar. Grab a festive glass of your choice and dip it first rim side down into the syrup. Shake off any excess, we don't want drips here, then immediately dip it into the dry sugar. This will give you a perfect sugary rim to your glass. And in this case, it makes the dish feel kind of like it is frosted with a dusting of fresh winter snow. This is a great way to garnish all kinds of desserts and festive beverages. And it's so pretty. Now that the glasses are ready, I'm scooping our chilled mousse into a piping bag so that I'll have maximum control as I build this dessert. You only need a few scoops for now, depending how many servings you are preparing at once. Carefully close up the bag so you don't make a mess. And we're ready to go. For the shape of the glasses I'm using, I'll start with a round, even base layer to cover the bottom of each glass. Next, I take some sweet biscuits and use my hands to crumble a few pieces over the first layer of the foamy mousse. This will add some interesting texture and crunch within the otherwise light and fluffy dish. I like doing this part by hand because I prefer the crumbs being a variety of sizes and shapes rather than just a uniform crumble. Now we're ready for another layer of mousse. For this one, I'm just going right on top over the biscuits in a side-to-side -side motion. Once it's on, let's add another layer of biscuit bits. You could experiment by adding different flavors of biscuits on each layer, or even trying this with homemade gingerbread for some seasonal spice.
Next, you guessed it, is our third layer of mousse. This will be the top layer, so to make it pretty, I'm starting in the middle and spiraling outward, then coming back towards the middle again to make a nice peak. The second one was already thick enough, so I just spiraled in from the outside. To top it off, I'm adding decorative dollops around the top of this layer. I love the texture that this piping tip makes. Now for more garnishing. I'm roughly chopping some dark chocolate, trying to make it into thin, flaky pieces that we can sprinkle on top of our mousse. This is sometimes easier if your chocolate is lightly chilled, because it's more brittle. Next up, to make this a holiday-themed treat, you need some peppermint candy canes, which we will also turn into a crumble. As you can see, these can be tricky to cut with a knife. So, for a safer and less messy solution, I suggest that you put the bigger candy pieces into a plastic Ziploc bag and pound it with a hammer until they are the consistency that you want. Now it's time to put it all together. I'm starting with the dark chocolate flakes, sprinkling a generous amount across the top of each serving. This not only adds an appealing visual texture, but the bitterness of the dark chocolate will also help to break up the sweetness of the other ingredients. Next, we'll garnish with a small, whole candy cane in each glass, perched on top for some wintry wow factor. And then around the top, add a few pinches of the crushed candy cane to tie it all together. And just like that, you have a stunning holiday dessert, ready to wow your guests. Especially if you prepare the mousse ahead of time, this dish is amazingly quick to put together and can be served in less than five minutes. There are so many ways to customize the garnishes to suit your taste and the time of the year, and the presentation is guaranteed to impress. Let me know if you try making this coffee mousse at home and what fun ingredients you decide to mix in. Happy holidays and enjoy. Mmm, 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 yum.